Hey, how's it going? Uh, my name's Ray and uh, I do photo and video. So um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to go through uh, a product that I use um, and that is uh, RGB um, LED wand lights. Uh, big fan of RGB, you could see some behind me. Uh, there's one in front of me. And uh, yeah, just a great way to throw color into your scene, uh, change up the mood. Um, so yeah, so RGB is great, you know, like gives you a lot of flexibility, things like that. So um, yeah, I'm going to show a couple examples of how I've used it on different sets in a little bit at the end of this, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, what this product looks like. So um, yeah, it comes to you in this nice little bag, little carry-on bag. It's got the strap, so uh, really convenient. Uh, it's got some padding on it, so yeah, so it's, it's, it's pretty secure, uh, so I like that. Um, we're going to go in here and take a look at this. Right. And uh, yeah, so this is a, yeah, quite a beefy setup here. Um, you can see how, yeah, holding it. Um, so it's got a couple controls here. Uh, LED screen, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. Hopefully I don't blind, oh, myself, I'll say you guys. Um, so I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. Uh, just so we can see, uh, yeah, it's got a cool little LED screen. Uh, a couple buttons uh, and, and a dial um, and it's pretty easy to use. It's double-sided so on this side you're gonna have your RGB and you can control the hue, the saturation, the brightness um, and so we're gonna see what this looks like at a hundred. Um, yeah there you go so that's a hundred percent. For reference I have an SL200 uh, Godox light on this side with a softbox um, so that's kind of, uh, yeah, how you can tell difference in the intensity. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and switch this hue just so you can see. Um, very customizable. Um, it takes a little bit to uh, get to the color you want, um, but it is, it's pretty precise. Um, so yeah, you can see it's starting to turn to orange. Um, and then a little bit of red here, and then it jumps to the other end of the spectrum. So, um, but uh, yeah, very, very good uh, light. Uh, I like the customizability. Um, yeah, everything's in percent. And um, so yeah, very, very responsive, uh, very accurate. Um, so then on the other side, uh, you're just gonna hit this mode button. Um, and then, here we go. So this is at 100%, uh, 4200 Kelvin, I believe. Um, so I'm just gonna show real quick. We're gonna switch this up. Yep, so you can go to 2500 Kelvin uh, as such. And then we're gonna go to the opposite end of the spectrum, 8,500 Kelvin. Um, so yeah, so this is, this is a pretty good light. Uh, again, double-sided, uh, and it's got all these options. Um, it's got some effects in there too. So um, yeah, highly recommend this product. And uh, yeah, before I go through uh, like how I've used this and everything, uh, I did wanna compare it to another similar product that I got recently. So we're gonna grab this over here. So this is the Hagibis light. I don't know if I said that right. Um, so a similar light, uh, as you, we do a size comparison, they're priced about the same. Um, so you can see that uh, the Hagibis one is, is slightly smaller. It's only one sided, it's flat. Um, yeah, so this one's obviously heavier, it's a little bigger. Um, so pros and cons with, the, with two of them. Um, so this Hagibis light, um, really not a fan of that it's, it's got preset colors. Um, so it's not very customizable in terms of RGB. Um, you can control the, the power setting, so that's good, uh, but it goes in steps. So I think it goes in probably like 10% steps. So you can kind of see it click on those steps right there um, as you go up. And it's got a couple effects there. Um, and then that's about it. So it's a pretty simple light. Um, so for that, I would, I would pick this one. Um, but uh, the only thing I will say uh, about this light from Suit Photo, is that uh, it, you can't charge it with a USB um, or yeah, it's got its own little like AC or DC adapter to it. Um, so that's the only thing, like I wouldn't be able to use it portably for uh, like having a power bank going into it. But otherwise, uh, this is a great light. So I uh, highly recommend this and uh, check out uh, how I've used this on set. What's <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> what? What's up, gamers? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> What's up, y'all? Uh, uh, hold on. What's what is my what? intro? What's up? Peter <laughs> 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 <Beer> McCutter here. <laughs> uh, I can't believe that's the hardest thing to think about. Coming at you with a new. Coming at you. <laughs> Coming at you. Uh, all right. Cool.